So this video continues on the same trend of pharmacokinetic questions. So this question deals with an investigator still investigating a drug that is very effective against a particular organism. The volume distribution of the drug is measured in a group of volunteers and determined to be 15 liter. This drug has which of the following properties? So as we have discussed earlier, we know that something that has a low VD has a distribution of about 4 to 8 liters. But this is 15 liters. This is much higher. So it has to be either medium VD or high VD depending on, uh, depending on the drug. I mean depending on what kind of uh, substance it is. Now substances that has a medium VD are usually hydrophilic. Okay, We already talked about it why it's hydrophilic and all that in earlier video. And substance that has a high VD is going to be lipophilic. Right? Hydrophilic is water lo loving and lipophilic is going to be fat or protein loving. Well, because it can bind to fat and protein, it's going to bind everywhere in the body. But this only remains in the blood and this is bound to the plasma. plasma right? So that's the thing. Now how can we determine if this product is going to be medium VD or high VD? Right? So we know, let's talk about, we we do have one information that is 15 liters and 15 liters can be used um, to measure uh, you know a measure certain things for example let's say that you know on average a person would weigh about 75 kg let's say you know and if 75 kg is the total weight of the person we know that we talked about well in renal I talked about how the weight of the body can be divided into 40 and 60. 40% 40 is going to be mass and 60% is going to be uh, water. So 60% uh, of 75 kg is going to be, it's going to be 45. Okay, so that is the total body water. Now the total body water can be further divided into two uh, compartments, the extracellular fluid and the intracellular fluid. And what is the division? Uh, the extracellular fluid is going to be one third and the intracellular fluid is going to be two thirds, right? So if we take this, uh, then the extracellular fluid is going to be 45 divided by 3. And if we do this, this is going to be 45 times 2 divided by 3. And let's see what values we get. So when we compute this, we see that the ECF is about 30 liters and the ICF, sorry, the ICF is about 30 liter and the ECF about 15 liter. Wait a minute, did we see 15 liters here? Yes, we did. So we have, so they, they're they talking about a drug that is primarily present in the extracellular fluid. And in the extracellular fluid, um, you know, what can you say about this? You can say that what drug would stay in the extracellular fluid? A drug which is going to be water loving because extracellular fluid only has water in it, right? So our drug is going to be um, a hydrophilic drug, you know, because it's always present in the extracellular fluid. So now let let's look at the options and see if we can match our answers. Uh, my eyes is completely going to this drug, hydrophilic. Um, that is probably the best answer. Small molecular weight, sure hydrophilic so in my mind I've already picked D lipophilic no that is high VD I'm gonna rule out E large molecular weight no um, and then extensively bound to plasma protein that would be low VD highly charged well I would say choice D is a better option than highly charged because highly charged uh, compounds are usually low VD rather than medium VD so the answer in this case is going to be D small molecular weight and hydrophilic. 